Hey guys, today I wanted to do a quick review um, of my Gravely ZTXL60 Zero Turn. I've only had it for about, I don't know, probably two weeks now. Um, definitely wasn't cheap. See the price on it, $42.99. Probably closer to $45 after taxes. Um, but depending on where you buy it from, Sheffield, or I financed through Sheffield for 1.8%, um, 48 months, so be around $105 a month. I was paying somebody $70 a week to cut my grass, a little over two acres, so it made sense for me to do it. Um, you can see I only have 2.7 hours, so I haven't used it a whole lot yet of course some birds have pooped on it already but so far I'm super pleased with it it runs well steers well seems sturdy um, it's got nice big tires on the back I have had somebody tell me before that the front end so light that sometimes it wants to raise up whenever you're going through certain areas so they've had to put uh, weights on the front I guess you can actually buy like aftermarket, or I imagine it's through Gravely, but you can buy weights to put on there. Um, and then I guess it weights the front down more, so it's a little bit more durable in spots. Uh, but let me grab the key and fire it up, and then I'll show you guys some of the features there. Okay, the key obviously goes in here. This is your blade control. You pull it up, turn the blade on, push it down, turn the blade off, your throttle. It does have a automatic choke, I believe it's called. So you don't have to adjust the throttle in order to start the mower. It just controls obviously how fast the blade's spinning, how fast you go. Um, this is the pedal you press to adjust the uh, blade height or deck height, push it down. While it's pushed down, you have this knob here. You can adjust it from, I think it's 1.5 all the way up to 4.5. I usually stay around 3.5, just for my yard. It seems like a pretty good size, or good uh, height. But, this thing, I cut a path over in my side yard. I've got about three acres on the side that's just nothing but growing up uh, plants and trees and stuff and I wanted to put a little path through it so I cut through that the other day probably not the best on it but it made it through this version that I got the uh, ZT XL 60 it was about 1200 sticker price cheaper than the next step up which was a commercial um, version of it I don't cut grass every day, all day for a living, so I didn't need to spend the extra $1,200. It wouldn't have cost a whole lot more when it's financed, really, maybe an extra $15 a month, but I just didn't really need the extra bells and whistles. Um, the commercial version has a plate here on the side of the pin that you can use to raise and lower the deck height. Um, this will move out on this one so you can clean it, but you can't actually access the... Uh, belts and pulleys underneath on the commercial model you can it actually raises up but I'm hoping I don't need to change the belts and pulleys that often to mess with it and then also on the back side on the uh, commercial model there's a place to put roll bars or a roll cage um, there's a nice cup holder there for a frosty one or whatever no E85. I put, I think, mid-level fuel in it. Not the premium, but mid-range. And I've actually, I filled this the day that I bought it. I think it was about two and a half gallons. I'm probably getting low now, to be honest. Yeah, I'm definitely getting low. But I've mowed my grass twice with it. I mean, I've put over two hours on this thing with one tank. So it's done pretty well. This has a Kohler 7000 series, 26 horsepower, 
seems like a fairly decent motor so far. Um, I know you can get online and order the upgraded motor. I don't know if it's considered upgraded or not, but you can order a Kawasaki. Kohler seemed like a good choice to me, and it's made in the USA, so I went with that. I'll buy USA all the time if I can. And it does have a 60-inch deck, so it'll get some cutting done pretty quick. So I'm going to go ahead and fire it up and spin around a little bit on it and show you guys just kind of how it looks from the driver's seat. You've got your toggle bars or your control bars, whatever. This is also, I forgot to point this out, this is the parking brake. It has to be pulled up to start. When you get going, push it down. To start it, it's got to be up or else it won't start. steer this with one hand but we're going to try and make it work I'm not going to engage the deck because it's just that much louder but if I can navigate it I want to show you guys the path I cut through this thicket over here if I can do it with one hand might be a little wonky on the um, camera because I'm going to be doing more steering than I am recording. But actually, I am going to go ahead and engage the deck for this. I've already made a few paths, passes through here to cut it. Um, Try to clear it out to have like a little nature walk. It's probably going to be a terrible idea, but let's we'll see if I can steer holding my camera and the handles at the same time. Changing the 
oil regularly, obviously. Um, fresh fuel. see how far I can push it to be honest anyway I'd rather test it while it's new I don't have very many hours on it than wait and try and cut a path there when it's older but it'll get moving pretty quick too this is wide open throttles all the way open handles are all the way forward sorry it's so bouncy over here and park it. I like to try and store it out of the elements. But hopefully uh, this little short review helps you decide on whether or not you want to buy a Gravely. I'd recommend it. I'll do another review when I've got more hours on it or if anything goes wrong in the meantime, um, I'll get on and do a video and show what went wrong. But so far, so good. I recommend it. See ya.